It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between NFC East rivals. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it comes your way next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. The kicker, Brandon Aubrey, is out to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. Room here to run. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Play action. Here's Hurts. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. 
After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. 11 yards for number 11. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. He will push his way down to about the 14. Marquise Bell in on that stop. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Hurts. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are on the board first here this afternoon. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7 zip. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down.
They run here with Rico Dowdle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. To throw is Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. That'll give him eight that time. And now we've got a third and four. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little gain. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action with Hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Throwing his hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Just a gain of a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and now it's third and three. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. The kick by Elliott is good. 
So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Cavante Turpin now to return. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. They'll come up facing third and five. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. So from the 36 now, first and 10, as they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, Prescott. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Prescott to throw it. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion good for just three. And that'll lead here to a third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll come up now third and three. A running play. It's Dowdle. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run again with Dowdle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and seven. On the run, it's Dowdle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game. 
and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Prescott off play action. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. A first down throw for Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. On oh, the return, Boston Scott. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They begin with a run by Barkley. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 31, here's second down and five. On play action, they'll throw. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm, but he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Well, it's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Here's the option. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambling for answers, looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy, because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And he's in. Touchdown, the Eagles. Saquon Barkley taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, this is Turpin. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Cowboys and Dak Prescott getting set to take over once more. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. They run here with Dowdle. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. First down, Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. 
Now Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing, Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now second and five. Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. But first down, Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Aubrey now for the point after. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half.
from the 35 back to work on second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Knott. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Let's go, Let's go right they head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the count! Pressure gets there this time for the sack. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. A field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. On play action, Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 43. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now a handoff as they run left side. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Right back to him on first down. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after, and it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, it's Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And that will tie things at 17-all. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And here's Scott to return it. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now. Back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Throwing his hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Back to throw here. He dumps it off to Barkley. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Give him the completion. No gain. But let's focus in on that tackle. Open field tackling. The hardest thing to do in the game, I believe. Well, when you get outside the tackle box, it becomes a numbers game. The defense had more than they could block. 
Out of the gun now on third down. That is caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that second down not a huge carry there on first down but not all of them will be but still all in all a positive play for the offense it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down ball on the 36 now here's second down at seven they'll give it to Barkley off the option play and he's free going down the left side it's a foot race touchdown Philadelphia Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Now he's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 18. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 73 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll pick up about three there up to the 43. Well, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment.
They'll see about converting this third and eight. To throw is Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Vaughn on first and ten. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right, took it straight into the backfield, and made the tackle for a loss. Prescott's throw pulled in by Tobert. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 14. That one goes for 24 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle, it's Vaughn. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Prescott. Down. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 16. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break.
Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Looking to throw. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he gets this up past the 40. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. A first down carry for Barkley. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and 10. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. From the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But, oh, my goodness, just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll begin on the ground here with Vaughn. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now second and seven from the 23. Now Dak on the option left. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll try and run for it with... is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. 
From the 42-yard line, here's second down and eight. In motion left goes Cooks. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Prescott now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Now second and nine. throwing Prescott able to hit his target lamb and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 13 yard line a gain there of 21 yards and he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit now they look to him again he picks up the first yeah I can hear everyone saying well why don't you cover him double him triple him do what you have to do but sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area he certainly looks to be in that groove right now throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete this is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's second and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Prescott from the gun on third. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And this one is right through, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. And I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. I couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Play action. Here's Hertz. And he'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. 
But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's third and four now. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. All oh, the option left, it's Hurts. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively, because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They'll come up now, second and nine. Again, it's Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here now, third down. Barkley inside handoff. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day so a big big kick coming now for Jake Elliott this to tie things up in the final minute The kick by Elliott is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. Yet now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock as another field goal the other way? That does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. 
but you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute, as the kick's away here. On the return, this is Turpin. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Second and six coming up. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. A handoff as they run the counter play. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. They're probably about one big play from getting into field goal range. I'd go with a two-deep coverage, make sure my safeties are back to cover all of the field deep. Right back to him on first down. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So the Cowboys going to get the first chance here to search for a winner as we're back underway to start this overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Could be some contact going on. On third down, they're going to run for it here. 
And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, they only need about a half a foot. It's overtime, but they're back in their own territory. And you know those decision makers that are battling inside the head coach's mind right now? And now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here comes the first throw in OT for Prescott. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now a second and 10. Now Prescott, left side to Lamb. Now he's loose again. Touchdown, Cowboys! It's been quite the game for him individually, a trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Aubrey now for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Hurts. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. They'll look to throw. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. And how about that? In a game that's had just about everything, how's that for an answer? Remember, in the past, this game would be over already. But that's a huge play there to give them a fighting chance to go down and possibly tie this game. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. Dance into his left. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that was prepared for him to try and take off. Second and seven. Throwing his hurts. This is Smith with the ground. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 33. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. What they say, it's not yet. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Now on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he puts it through. That time, a six-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Stuck for the loss by Devin White. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. Prescott. It's caught left side by Cooks. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Here's third and nine. To throw is Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here's Brian Anger now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. 137 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and four. They'll go to Barkley again. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. A first down run from Barkley pretty well defended. Give him three yards on the play. Here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And now here come the Cowboys. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to them. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. 
followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They work now on second and nine. To throw, Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And this time, not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 23. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good. And they have won it here in double overtime. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory. And that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Philly.